Fairfield welcome Breeze Modern Day to the train yard for a second round playoff game with the sun setting on one of these teams' seasons. Justin Townsend's Mules had the first scoring chance. It came on their opening drive, but facing fourth and goal, the Knights get the stop. We were scoreless after one. The Mules' defense frustrated Modern Day's high-powered offense that came in averaging 39 points a game, shutting them out in the first half. Fairfield mounted an impressive drive late in the half. The big play, Landon Zerlini up top for Kane Hicksonball. The 30-yard gain had the Mules inside the 10. After a pass interference in the end zone on what would have been the final play of the half, the Mules got one more chance, and Wyatt Gilbert made it count, scoring from three yards out. The two-point conversion was no good, so it was 6-0 Fairfield at the half. The Mules got the ball to start the third and appeared to be in business as Cade Carter ripped off a huge run on the first play from scrimmage into modern-day territory. But Fairfield could not take advantage of the opportunity, and that would be huge. Next night's possession, Reed Braunmeier found Mitchell Hockey for a 31-yard scoring strike. The extra point was good, and modern-day had a 7-6 lead. Fairfield tried to answer, but... Dalton Marcus picked off Zerlini's pass over the middle, and after a nice return, Modern Day was back in business. But then it was the Mules' defense turn to step up. Blake Pruitt stripped Caleb Gonsalves. Connor Dagg won the wrestling match to come up with the recovery. After a Fairfield three and out, though, Modern Day extended its lead as Nolan Foppy took it up the middle for a nine-yard TD. The extra point was good and the Knights led 14-6. With the Mules driving for the potential tying score early in the fourth, the Knights' defense came up big again. This time it was Tyler Jasper with the interception. And then Modern Day methodically marched down the field, eating up more than five and a half minutes before punching in the clinching score. The Knights are headed to the quarterfinals with a 21-6 win. The Mules finish 10-1 for a second straight season. Have some momentum and then and know that we have the ball coming out in the second half and we hit that big run play right off the bat and I felt like we were in a pretty good situation there but uh, their defense, I'll give them credit, they they were able to keep it out, keep us out of the end zone except for one uh, one series so that, I think that was a big turning point in the game when they were able, when we had that great field position coming out of halftime not being able to get a score there and go up two scores. Super proud of our kids, I've, I've said that all year. Uh, the senior class is going to leave the all-time winningest class in school history from their sophomore, junior, senior year. And, uh, you know, we, we prepped all week to win this game. And that's how we approached it. That's how we played it. And we just came up a little bit short. And it, it hurts tonight, but I can't say enough about them. And, they, you know, they've hopefully helped us turn the corner with this program.